Okay, number six on the test, we're asked to solve this equation by graphing. So what values of x make this equation true? Now what happens is the very first thing you need to do is put this in what we call standard form for a quadratic formula or quadratic equation. So uh, we need everything set equal to zero. And so we need to get move this negative 12 to the other side. So to get rid of the negative 2 or negative 12, we have to add 12 to both sides. So that makes that zero. So we're going to have x squared minus ax plus 12 equals zero. So now we have a standard form. And what values of x make this equation true? Or in other words, this is x, this is going to be whatever you do after you plug in values of x, you're going to get certain y values. What makes y equal to zero? And that's going to be a point, any point that's on the x-axis, because y is always zero on the x-axis. So we're going to try to find out, as we graph this, what point puts this on the x-axis. So we know that it opens up because the leading coefficient is positive, and the axis of symmetry is x equals negative b over 2a, so the b is a negative 8, and so we put a negative 8, and over 2a, and that's 1, so it's 2 times 1, and we look at this and we go, well this is, we're subtracting a negative, so we know that the axis of symmetry, the x value, is going to be positive, so we can get rid of the negative signs, disregard them now, and so 8 over 2, which is going to be 4. So we can draw our axis of symmetry here at x equals 4. So we know then that the vertex has to be somewhere on this axis of symmetry, so the x value of the vertex is going to be 4. Well, if x is 4, then what is y? So we put 4 squared minus 8 times 4 plus 12. So we're going back to this standard form is what we're going to use. And so that's going to equal 16 minus 32 plus 12. So everything in here is accounted for on the next line. And then 16 minus 32 is negative 16, plus 12 is 4. So when x is 4, y is 4. Except this is negative 16, and so this really should be a negative 4. So I just made a mistake. There we are, negative 4. And so we're going to go over here to 4, negative 4, and there's our vertex. It opens up, so everything needs to be going above the, the vertex. So we plot the other two points, and so we take, we're at the 4, so to make it easier, we go towards 0 so the numbers are smaller. So the first thing we would take, the next number over, is a 3. And the next number over after that is a 2. So those are two points that we can use. And so if x is 3, we get 3 squared, minus 8 times 3, plus 12. And so we get 9 minus 24, plus 12. So this is a negative 15, plus 12 is a negative 3. So when, three, when x is 3, y is negative 3. And as you can see, we're approaching 0. We're getting closer to 0. And so we try 2. So we get 2 squared um, minus 8 times 2 plus 12. And that's going to equal 4 minus 16 plus 12. 
Well, 4 minus 16 is negative 12, plus 12 is going to give us 0. So when x is 2, y is 0. So there is a solution because we've got the point on the x-axis. And so when we reflect our points now, so this one takes 1 to get to the x or the axis of symmetry, so we go 1 past it. And this one takes 2 to get to the axis of symmetry, so we go 2 past it. And so as we graph this then, and again, make sure it's not a V, but a U. And what we see then is that when x is 2 and when x is 6, y is 0. And so our solution is x equals 2 or 6. And, if, and we didn't do 6, so we put 6 up here. We're going to find that um, if we go 6 squared is 36 minus 8 times 6, which is 48. So 32, I'm sorry, 36 minus 48 is negative 12. And so negative 12 equals negative 12. So 6 does make this equation true. That's your solution.